Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my Christmas tree. <laughs> uh, you can not really see it, but uh, it's blue and silver. Anyways, um, today's video, I just have like very few things to share with you guys. These are the products that I've used that, but these are the products that I would definitely repurchase. So this could be like gift guide, gift ideas for you guys. I am still doing gift guide for her, gift guide for him. Um, later but i'm still actually waiting on my cyber monday black friday haul that i did online so they're taking their time so um it's all coming tomorrow saturday and the entire week next week so i have to wait for next week to do that so that is why i'm doing this for you guys but i hope you like it and let's get started okay so first um, i'm gonna start with body wash um i finished up this yes to cucumber body wash um this is really good um if you guys like the uh, cucumber melon from bath and body works you would like this because when you first use it you definitely smell the cucumber it's like you smell it but um it's very it's very good it doesn't really lather but it does help with your skin um when i was pregnant i had like some sort of back knee it's more like i had like a it was not acne like there's not white spots or red spots on it but it's like pretty much a, a rash uh, but it's uh, the doctor said it's like pretty much a back knee without acne part it's just like uh, it stains your back so um, I used this and it actually helped like clear up my skin so I really really like it so this is yes to cucumber calming shower gel for sensitive skin so it's even better because it's for sensitive skin um, I will just leave all the uh, information, what it does and things like that in the description box so that we are not prolongating this video because I really want it to be super short. But um, if you have somebody that likes scents like this and uh, likes natural ingredients and things like that, then I will suggest Yes to Cucumber or the Yes line pretty much. Okay, the next item that I want to share you, with you guys is actually the Fresh Watermelon Lemonade. Um, hand soap from Bath and Body Works and this is the one that bubbles up um, gentle foaming hand soap and uh, remember when I uh, did this haul before I said that um, actually the hand soap doesn't last as long as the uh, deep cleansing hand soap but actually this really lasts way longer than the, the regular um, deep cleansing um, hand soap from Bath & Body Works. Um, so I really do recommend this. I mean, who doesn't like hand soap? Who doesn't wash their hands, right? Um, and then this particular scent is my husband's favorite. He likes, um, well, he likes watermelon. <laughs> so anything watermelon he would like. But um, this, I think this was their special spring edition though. That's how long it was lasting and... Well, I've been holding on to this to talk to you guys, but anyways, <laughs> um, yeah, I do suggest like Bath & Body Works hand soap, especially the foaming one because it lasts longer. The bottle is bigger and uh, it really does last long, guys, and it smells good, obviously. <laughs> so yeah, I do really recommend this. Like I said, this is the um, this is the spring uh, collection, so you might not find this anymore, but you should check it out. Definitely check it out because they have like really calming scents, really fresh, really uh, holiday if you like that kind of thing. So, yep. Uh, the next thing I want to share with you guys is actually my shampoo. I finished on the Palmer um, Olive Oil Formula Soothing Shampoo. And this is good for any um, hair type, especially curly hair, um, dry hair. This is really, really good. And um, of course, it doesn't have sulfate and no paraben. So it's really, really good for your hair. And I will recommend it for anyone, literally anyone that looking for a good shampoo. Um, especially because of the olive oil that's in it. So the next thing I'm going to share with you guys. Uh, let's stick with body stuff I guess is my bombshell Oop, the cover went up, came off but the bombshell Victoria's Secret bombshell I literally like have like I don't know a couple sprints left um, I finished this a while ago but I wanted to share this because it's a very good present to give somebody um, it's not a, their new scent but this is like the type of scent that you can never go wrong especially if somebody in their uh, twi early 20s, late 20s, anyone would like this. The bombshell is sweet but it's not too sweet, it's more like the sassy scent. 
sweet um it's even more a little bit sour <laughs> if i would say um so it's not like sweet candy sweet because not everybody like that and it's a little too girly so this one is like mature ish <laughs> so yeah it's more like sweet and sour kind of scent i don't know if that makes sense another product that i finished is the forever red and um, this is their trouble size obviously but their forever red packaging is just amazing this is from bath and body works oh my gosh guys like you should definitely at least try it if you don't want to buy it this is just nice like the scent is so fancy like anyone would like this like you don't have to be a mom to like it anyone would like this forever red because it's like it's not too sweet it's sweet but it's more on the mature side it's a little bit musky it's a little bit sensual it's a little bit uh mysterious so anyone would like this um their packaging too is really nice especially for christmas it's red um their plastic uh, body mist one has a bow and the perfume is even more fancier um so you should definitely check it out if you are planning on buying you know perfume for people that you love for gift and then the last things are candles guys uh, as you can see actually this literally is nothing anymore I'm, I'm planning on taking this I'm planning on taking this the wax off and using the jar for my brushes because I have a lot of brushes now <laughs> but anyways this one right here is from Yankee Candle and it's called Pink Sand it's very fresh kind of scent but it's a little bit sweet but it's more in the fresh set up side it's even more floral but I don't really like floral things at all, like floral scents, but this is really, really good. And this is from Bed, Bed Bath & Beyond, um, Yankee Candle. I really, really suggest that for like your mom or your sister, someone like that. And the last one is the uh, by what, uh, White Barn from Bath & Body Works. This is the Mahogany Teak Wood. This is for any girl, like the type of uh, Amber Crombie and Fitch girl, the type of Californian looking girl, like G denim and uh, t-shirt, not really girly, but feminine, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, this is more, um, more musky, more, a little bit more masculine scent, but it's still good. Um, I don't know how to explain it, but I think you guys know what I'm talking about if you have been to Amber Crumbie and Fitch a store and you smell the store it smells exactly like that so anybody that shops there would probably like this <laughs> um, it looks like it's still a lot but actually it's just the wax that's pretty much it right now so pretty much like a week of burning this and it will be gone <laughs> My daughter is calling for me, so I guess I'll be going. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. I hope this video helped you out. And I'll talk to you in another video this week. Bye, guys. Thank you so much for watching that video, guys. I hope you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe by clicking on my face right here or on the subscribe button right down below. It is free. Uh, I have the goal of reaching 1,000 subscribers before the end of the year. So please, please, please help me out if you can. <laughs> Thank you so much and I'll talk to you in the next video.